Well, we don't want to start on me getting stuck because I never get stuck. Well, except right here. What happened actually was a uh, stick got in my eye. No, I just screwed up. I really screwed up and I just got stuck. So, okay, get away from those clips. Let's get into something where I'm in control and riding. Okay, that's not in control. We po I posted this one earlier in the year and oh my gosh. So what happened, I literally, I just, I didn't get the line I wanted and ended up turning down full pin downhill ended up gathering it up and then back up the hill we go this is like one of my favorite zones ever i knew this log hop from the year before but this year was huge and i come around the corner and you can hear me oh shit oh but man you know like when those log hops go good there's no better feeling and you know for the rest of the line here just you know grinning ear to ear lots of confidence and you know just trying to get everything put together to, to finish the line. And that's what we always talk about here is winning the line. Like right there, man, I, I glanced at the tree, almost bounced off of it. Right here, I'm just telling myself, focus and get the heck to the top. <laughs> the head shake at the top is always like, oh. Oh yeah, speaking of, right here, all I was thinking was, I know I have someone behind me, this should get them stuck. And it did. It, I remember, Cody, you're probably still stuck there, aren't you? So this is the same hillside of that last line you saw with the big log hop. You know, this is one of our favorites. It's a, it's a north facing slope, tr perfect tree spacing, awesome snow. Um, always feels good to put a clean line through these and, you know, again, make it to the top. This is uh, the sled I'm riding here is my Fox sled. This is the 900 Carl's boost sled uh, that's just an absolute beast all right this line this is one that I look forward to every year see right here to the left you don't want to go there there's these two trees that I have coming up here that I call the goal post and it's so like every time I come around the corner I just am telling to myself and focusing on you have to wheelie through the goal posts and I've ended up on the left more times than I can count so right here it's like it's so full commit and you're on this spine there's been times where i ended up a little too far left and my track would wash out and i would like high side down in so here's a replay of it so again i'm coming into this i know i'm going to take the hard line i set myself up and, and carry as much momentum through the goal post as possible and don't end up left it was funny i was coming back down and around and there was two trees that I had cut off from the prior year. And I know Kyle's been stuck in there too. So uh, one, of, one of my favorite lines there. And, and speaking of Kyle, Kyle, you're up next. We call Kyle the machine, not just because he's an animal in the shop and getting stuff done, but he's also an animal out on the mountain. And he's become just a phenomenal rider. When you ride here six days a week and you try to follow me around and you're pulling skis, um, you know, Kyle has taken his riding really just to that stage where I mean well I mean this stuff happens but Kyle I promise you this whole segment isn't just you getting stuck um, I mean that was the logs fault that's what I would have said <laughs> um, but uh, in all reality guys uh, you know Kyle is just a you know one of those top five guys in my opinion when it comes to just getting shit done like I mean that right there that is the definition of you know how close we are of it working or not working and with how technical the terrain is that's hard on shit oh it's hard on stuff oh those are the worst too like you literally see the top and you're right there and you know something at the last minute happens so you know this is probably where i really enjoy watching kyle the most is uh on a boost sled his aggression you know kyle comes from a motocross background uh, he's blistering fast on a bike and he has brought that aggression to the sled side of things you know watching his line choice um, what's been really fun for me is you know every time I watch one of his GoPro clips it's hard to differentiate his versus mine um, except that you know I <laughs> I was gonna say I'd end up not bleeding as much as him but last year I think we were about the same um, yeah it's just 
you know, this is just one of those days, right, that we all dream of. It was like perfect snow, bluebird, boost, um, dicing through the trees, and, uh, you know, just, it's, it's so enjoyable, uh, you know, not only watching uh, him ride, but, um, you know, watching, like, clips like this where, I mean, this is, like, why we snowmobile right here. All right, now, this is what, this is when it gets fun, right? The challenge, big head wall, big rock. Oh, he just, all he had to do was get above that one tree and he is out. Well, now here comes the determination. All right, attempt two, big old trench in there, nasty. Oh, ended up screwing up right there. Now, the cameraman wants to get in on the action. Blake, how'd it go right here? Uh, not so Not good. so. Got me in a real good spot for filming though. Well, I got you in a perfect spot for attempt three which looking at the GoPro, look how nasty this is, but learn from his first mistake, tree tap here, <laughs> put a stick through the freaking goggles right there, and then you can see the top just up to the right. Oh my, geez, Kyle. No disregard for his body, or no regard for his body, let me say it that way. And in the end, when the top is up that close, there is no regard, regard for body or machine. Two the top um <laughs> what in the hell was i doing it, it really sucked i wasn't here on this day but he told me about it he's like dude the video doesn't do it justice i literally ended up with my skis on the wrong side of this tree and like this cave where my sled was about to fall into oh you know what we should do we could take two trees and put it directly under the a arms and onto that tree and then Kyle just always has some harebrained ideas of how to get out of stuff like that and hold on rewind that oh, how can Kyle say he doesn't have an accent and put it directly under the a arms and onto you know that tree don't you know <laughs> don't you know what we should do <laughs> Kyle I love you buddy Fun to watch your ride, dude. I can't wait to uh, go rip with you again. Hope you guys enjoyed our little GoPro session here. Uh, the voiceovers are fun, and um, maybe Kyle will have to do a voiceover on the next one of me riding. That should be entertaining.